Hey guys, it's Argyle again, and I'm going to be hosting another uh, 1v1. I am the Yellow Zerg, spawning in the 7 o'clock, versus the Blue Terran, who is Dave, uh, spawning in the 1 or 2 o'clock. And this is on Blistering Sands, and uh, hopefully it's going to give you a pretty interesting game here. Uh, I actually can't remember uh, what I did in this game, but uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, see what's going to go on here. And I'm going to send out my overlord here, just in case I want to build a Nidus network. Just to sneak some Zerglings into his line. I always do this on whatever map. On whatever 1v1 or 2v2 two, two map where I can just sneak my overlord in someplace just to gain vision somewhere. Um, and when I actually... They will, even though I see a lot of pros or players do this in the higher tier, they actually just have their overlords all over the place, all over the map just so they gain uh, vision of the map just in case they see anything sneaky or anything going on and I actually hate doing that because I really hate my overlords dying and yeah I just I just can't do it I'll probably do it when I get better, la better later on but uh, for now I hate I hate it with a passion losing overlords because I don't want to sit there and wait for my supply to go back up wait for my overlord to spawn and spend another hundred minerals where I could just pumping out more zerglings or whatever um... and i am i did uh... i did try to take his gas but he ended up taking both gases here um... so i find out this is actually the third game i just skipped over a second game because i don't like casting really long games like <laughs> over twenty minutes i like to stay under the fifteen minute mark but uh... He, I found out that his uh, favorite build, I did try to block off this Spy Depot here, but that didn't work, but yeah, like I was saying, he did, he loves going, I find out that he loves going uh, mar Marine and Siege Tanks. That is his favorite build of all time, and uh, it's pretty annoying, even, even after the uh, patch of Siege Tanks getting nerfed, it's still, uh, it's still, uh, <laughs> they still do a lot of damage. I mean, sure, not as, lot, not as a lot of damage as before, but still a lot of damage. Um, if I, I'm sure if I just upgrade my, uh, Zergling armor just once, then my Zerglings would be, uh, would be able to, uh, survive one tank shot, which is pretty cool. Before, they would, <laughs> you would not be able to do that at all. So he's getting his factory down. Um, I am fast expanding. Since I know from the other games, from the previous game, um, that he is going siege tanks, since that is his favorite thing to do. Um, let's see here. Oh, sorry, I put it on the production tab. Getting his factory, getting my hatchery, getting one uh, spine crawler right here, just in case I got any helians to sneak through here, just so I can have my uh, workers huddle around here, just in case. Getting one queen here. Pumping out my second queen just as my hatchery is around the halfway point. It's always always nice to do since uh, you don't wanna, you don't want to waste time waiting for another queen to go over here. You want to get as much larva as you can since uh, having a whole lot of larva definitely helps a lot. I know Zerg players love having lots of larva. I know I do, but not like that. Not not that not that kind of love. You know, the other kind, the special kind, that's it. And, uh, got the SVs out. He's finally scouting out. Queen's moving out here. Hatchery just spawning out. Um, I think I did that wrong, actually. Oh, no, I did that right. Pump out a creep tumor here. Get this creep, try to connect this, uh, creep highway as fast as you can when you fast expand so that, uh, it's easy to defend both bases. Or it's easy to defend your expansion. Um... Right now, I still don't have speed yet. What's going on? Oh, there we go. Kind of late on speed. I think I forgot <laughs> that I had it. So it is kind of late. I am getting a roach worn. Since roaches can tank those tank shells pretty well. What I should be going, though, is uh, banelings and getting burrow. Because burrowed banelings is just awesome. Especially since they don't have no observer or anything, any, any type like that. You would just have to keep using a scan. And Terran players are greedy, greedy, greedy. As I, as heard from uh, Cy Starcraft, he <laughs> he 
Love spin against Terran who don't scan at all because they love spamming these darn mules that increase their income by a lot. Let's see where their income is right now. Um, I am currently, I got 22 harvesters. I could be, even though, I, well, I just got this up, so. Oh, I got so many minerals. Like, all these sexy little larvae are, could be drones. What are they? Oh, they are drones. There we go. So, right now with that mule, he is getting a lot more than I am. But that's only a moment here until I skyrocket. It's early. Yeah, I got four more harvesters. That's not. I'm not sure it's going to be too much of a difference. Actually, 30 more. So, yeah. And he did plop down another... Uh... No, actually, I think he, uh, he actually scanned me that time. I still haven't seen what exactly what build he's going. He did put marines here on the rocks to stop my zorgans from attacking. Um, just did some advice after after seeing the, this game at this point. I would definitely uh, be harassing my opponent as much as I can. Having uh, an opponent other than a zerg player uh, massing and massing and doing his own things in this base is not good since zerg is supposed to mass against the. Uh, your opponent, and if your army is not big enough than theirs, then you, it's possible you might lose since Protoss and Terran units tend to be a little bit stronger than Zerg, play, Zerg units. Though I could be wrong there. Correct me if I'm wrong. Feel free. Take apart my videos. Do whatever you can. Criticism's nice. And I get my Zerglings here. Speedling's gonna easily take out this little marine force. Trying to run for our lives, but there's n no way they're gonna get away. Uh, and also, another tip here: that was a terrible chase. What you should do as a Zerg player is get us around. All the pro players do it. And uh, yeah, so definitely don't learn. Don't learn from that. Right now, he is pumping out more siege tanks. He's got four, or five siege tanks right now, and marines. And was that ten marines? No. Nope. Looks like 8 and 6, so 14. So 14 Marines and 5 Siege Tanks. Oh, 16 Marines and 5 Siege Tanks. No upgrades. Versus... Well, I got some Lings there. I'm running off 2 base. My income is so much higher than his. Well, not so much. Well, yeah, so much. And I am not doing a single thing. I do have a Banelings Nest. And I am getting... Uh, what is it? Centrifugal Hooks. Just so I could get my banelings in there a lot faster. I did build a spore crawler here just in case. So and I did put spore cr not sp yeah spore crawlers around my expansion well just in case he went uh, banelings not banelings uh banshees and I do see that he is pushing out here. And I send in half my zerglings here and that's not good. I did try to plan to get us around, but after seeing his giant force, I wanted to grab him before his siege tanks sieged up, and now he is massing so many. So many marines and siege tanks, and siege tanks attack fast. Their attack speed on these is nearly one second. That's pretty fast, and it's 15 damage. So it's three shots per zergling. And these marines here, a lot of marines moving in. We do have roaches built in, and he actually scanned me, which pissed me off pretty well because I didn't think he was actually going to scan here. And I got some reinforcement zer zerglings here, and oh, so bad, I did not attack right away. With my while my zerglings were pushing, I did not attack with my banelings, and that's pretty pretty much pretty much cost me the game right there. I mean, he's got these three siege tanks here sieged up. He's gonna move in slowly. He's gonna leapfrog his way forward here, just like in uh, the first Starcraft, and he's just gonna guard his siege tanks, not not let any uh, zerglings come through. And he's got all his upgrades, he's got the combat shields and stand back for his marines. I'm trying to build as many zerglings as I can. Morph in some banelings right here. I'm trying to move in my banelings first, but five siege tanks easily cleans up five banelings. So this is pretty much game here. I really, really wish I went uh mutilisks. For some reason I did not build any tier two buildings at all. Not even high. Not even mutas, which is pretty upsetting. Definitely failed this game, but hopefully you guys will learn from my mistakes and uh, learn how to deal with this. And you do notice that even though there is, uh, Siege Tank Marines is kind of like a double-edged sword, if you get your units closer to his Marines, his tanks will actually 
do will actually help us out a bit by damaging his his splash damage will actually help uh, kill out most most of his marines. Then most of his most of his marines are dead. He's, even though he just got some more reinforcement marines here. Siege tanks just clean up. He's got so many siege tanks right now, and I have no hope. I don't know why he's retreating now. He's probably afraid of what I have in my base, but yeah, he's got one siege tank, one siege tank down there cleaning up. These marines gonna clean up my zerglings. Ah, siege tanks. Are so, I hate them with a passion. And uh, yeah, he's gonna move in with his threats of his force here, and uh, just gonna clean up. I have so many murals and gas. I could have just, uh, I would have had so many realists. But uh, lesson learned. Definitely good learning experience watching this game. And uh, hopefully you guys learned something as well. And I uh, will see you guys later.